sorry. Listen, I'll do anything you ask of me. Join my party! Come on, we can make it a five-man team. Works in Final Fantasy IV. I'll tell one of the villagers to open the north gate for you. That's not exactly what I had in mind. I need I need a pine attack user. I don't have a pine attack user! I wish I could fight along with you, but... Nope, nope, no, he doesn't. He would never join us. It doesn't matter how healthy they are. You know, I think I have finally placed this music. It reminds me of Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. And then a little bit of Xenogears. I think there was a place in Xenogears where I had this music. I could be wrong about Xenogears, though, but definitely Chrono Cross. That one. That one I definitely got. When Kelga is very sick, he overexerted himself when I kicked him in the balls through the door. That's how that happened. And now all these places are now open. To this day, no one knows the reason why flying dragons were extinct. They're not extinct. We just had one. There's one left. But pretty much we have the last one, just like every other, other thing. We have the last of it. Just like on our world, wasn't it? It was the last one. Yeah, I'm sure it is very, very dangerous in there. Hardly anyone left to defend the village there. Do you see everybody here? So Tuss went to protect the fire crystal, but what are you on about? What are you on about? And here we have a guy hanging out by the well. There's something down the well. What do you want me to do about it? And then here we have uh, more magic. It's the same magic that we've been seeing this entire time. I won't bother going through the menus. Nothing new here. In the weapons and armor shop, there are a few upgrades, though. So let's take a look at what they do have. We have a rope headband, a power to Suki, and a power wrist. And I believe I have a power wrist. I do. I don't think I need another one. However, I do need... At least one rope headband and one power to Suki. I will double check uh, what I need and then I'll let you know what I purchased. Uh, I don't need to stay at the end, but I probably will anyway. Uh, here, nothing else is new. So we don't need to purchase anything there. Uh, one thing though is after I'm done here, I might be a little bit short on money, but I have to leave town to do something else anyway. Uh, we can also get Cluster, uh, Crossbow, uh, Poison Rod. I will purchase the Poison Rod. I don't think I need uh, any of the skills. You know, I should purchase one, purchase them just in case I do need a ninja in my party again. That would be greatly appreciated. I definitely want the Poison Rod and the, uh, the Crossbow. And then I'm not sure about the Cluster because, well, I don't have anybody to use it right now anyway, but believe that I, it is better than what I have uh, but I can probably hold off of that one for a little while and I believe this is the one with yeah this is this is the one with all the same stuff that we've been seeing before and this is the main draw of Kelp Village the shops here especially the weapons and armor because well the magic we already have everything up now we can head over here and we can talk to all three of these werewolves, which we need to do. One, two, three, four. No. Yes, and then you, you. The ceremony is so you'll come back safely. Did I not talk to all of you? Oh, there we go. I pray for your safety and want to give you this song. It really works on zombies and monsters. And we've gotten another song for our bard. We have obtained Requiem. Requiem. I always have a hard time saying that, that word. But we have it. I will save at the end. And, well, I need to do something outside. I'll, I'll let you know when we come across one. And we have found the enemy that I am looking for. This is the Cornego. Now, the Cornego is the giant frog thing here in the front. Yes, go for sword dance and kill something. Very nice. Uh, the Cornego, we are looking for it today, but we do not want to kill it. We have an interesting little concept here. We want to catch it, which is going to be very, very difficult, unfortunately. Now, uh, Bart can kill it with another hit, uh, so we're not going to be using him. Instead, we're going to be trying to kill everything else first, and then 
We're gonna wait for a little bit here. Wait. Because if you do too much damage to the Cornego, it will run away. So let's go for um, Arrow on the Cornego. And hopefully it doesn't get its turn. Now we need to heal Reyna. Now we need to hit him with that. And is that enough to catch it? Please tell me it's enough to catch it. No, we need to weaken it further. Damn it. I thought I had solved this. Okay, it's still here though. It's still here. Alright, we need to wait some more. Okay. Raina got her turn. That's what's important. Is that enough to kill it? It is not. Okay. Uh, no. Damn it. Anybody. Come on. Raina, get your turn. <gasps> Raina, get your turn. Yes, come on, catch. And we have caught the Cornego. You have no idea how long that freaking took me. So we now just need to kill the ridicule, which should not be a problem. Down it goes. Or, no, we need to aim at it one more time. And then you can fight with your dancing dark. But it goes down, and we have caught the Cornego, which is what I wanted to do. Uh, 858 gil, 572 experience, and 2 ability points for that fight. Um, I do, you do need Raina to be a trainer for this. I don't know if I've gone over that, but in order to catch something, you need a trainer. Uh, but I have obtained the Cornego. Uh, I believe I actually still need more money, so I'm going to stay out here and do uh, some more level grinding before I head back into town. And we can uh, use the Cornego that we just caught in there. Okay, I have done all the level grinding and money grinding that I need to. I've also caught the Cornego, which I definitely needed to do. Kind of. Let's talk to this well. The frog. The frog. And then we pull a wizard out. Of all, at least an old man. If you give me 10,000 gil and that frog, I'll give you this pot. How about it? Well, I went through all this trouble. I'm not going to say no now. <laughs> now I'll eat some dinner. We have received Cornego's Gourd. That is an item that uh, not necessarily is worth it, but people seem to think it's important, so I obtained it. Uh, we may never see it again. Uh, here it is. It makes monsters easier to catch. So if you've got a trainer, you might as well put it on them if you're out to catch monsters. Now, uh, the way that it works, uh, I don't know if I've gone over it in that much detail. When you catch a monster, you can only catch the one and then you release it in battle. So it's like a one-time thing. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal to me, but... Uh, people seem to love it. I am, I've, I've gotten Raina to level 2, uh, which has given her the ability that I wanted, which is tame. It calms a monster and actually puts them in your control, uh, which is very, very nice. I believe it puts them in your control. No, control puts them in your control. Uh, tame does not, so tame will just make them go away or stop attacking you. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to control. Control is very, very nice. That is what she learned at level 2. And that is useful for blue magic. There are some enemies that will never attack you uh, with a certain spell, uh, such as uh, any sort of healing or or guard spell. They'll only cast that on that s on themselves. If you want to learn it, you have to use control on them. Uh, with that said, we are going to change uh, Reyna's uh, job. Let's actually do that right now. She's going to be going back on... What was she on? Uh, Samurai. That is what she was before. So much better. We're going to make... Yeah, Steel goes forward. And, yeah, that's perfect. Exactly like that. And I do need to heal again because uh, her HP is a lot higher when she's a samurai. But we have done it. We have gotten uh, one of the secret items of the game. Not many people seem uh, to know how to get that one. So that's how you do it. It's kind of complicated, but it's not that great of a reward for getting it. Let me uh, go rest at the inn again, and I'll go over my setup before we head out. 
Okay, I can't believe I'm going to be doing this, but I have changed my setup from what I said I was going to do. I have changed Reina to a bard. Uh, I am sorry, I, I just don't typically like bars in these games. However, bard is going to be very important uh, in uh, what we're heading for next. So I've switched Reina over, and I don't know, it looks to me like she's constantly lifting up her skirt in this, uh, in this sprite, but I understand that's just... Uh, I don't know what you call it, the sleeves? Uh, she has very baggy sleeves. Uh, I have leveled up quite a bit. Uh, I am up to level 24 on everybody. Uh, level 2 Hunter, so Bart has learned the aim ability. That is not the one I am looking for, though. We will find more for him to learn. That is not the thing that I want to move forward that I said was very important. Besides that, uh, the equipment uh, I have Bart's on the crossbow. I have uh, Reyna on the dancing dirk, even though you know she won't be using it very much. Earth plume tap because there's nothing else uh, she can use. Same with earth robe. Uh, that needs to. Yeah, we're gonna change over to the, the elf cloak. The, the cornego gourd, of course, is pretty useless here. Uh, power wrist, pretty much same uh, setup here for Gallop. and the regal cutlass is. The weapon of choice now for Ferris, but everything else is pretty much the same. I didn't. I, I did purchase a couple things here in town, but uh, mostly so that I could have it for later. I purchased the the poison rod, like I said I would, and I also pur purchased. Uh, what did I get? I have so much shit now. Um, poison rod, like I said I would. The Angel robe is useless to me right now. That is kind of pissing me off. I also purchased one rope headband and one power Tasuki. Uh, that is for classes that I don't have right now, but I will have later, so that is why I purchased them. Let's head out of here through the north gate. Open the gate and let me through. I can't believe I'm going to be using a bard. I've never tried this, but I hear it is quite useful to have a bard. After you've obtained Requiem, do we have new enemies on the other side? We don't.